can use ChatGTP in your Remix ID to audit your smart contract. So this is the smart contract I have written for a social media platform. So this is the application which I'm building. Like user can click and they can simply upload the image to the blockchain. So if I want to upload a video or any text message, I can do that. I can simply select or I can simply upload that one. So I can select the image category and this process will take a little bit time. I can give the description and I can upload my image. So this is the smart contract I have written for that. So this project is still in ongoing. Very soon I'm going to complete it and the video will come on that. But let's talk about that, how you can audit that smart contract. So this is the pretty huge smart contract I have written. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a problem. So instead of taking the string and here in the create post, you will find that I have this string. But I'm going to provide string here and the length. But here, instead of string, I'm going to provide uh, an address. So I'll change the data type. So I'll say address. The moment I do, I will get this error message that I have defined address and here I'm provided the string. So it's an error. So I can over it and I can able to see the problem. Like right now, this is the problem I have. So it's a string, but I have provided the address. So this is the problem we have. In case you don't find that what is causing the issue, you don't understand that how to fix this particular bug, all you have to do is to use the chat GTP, which is inbuilt in the Remix ID to fix your smart contract, audit your smart contract, or even you can take the suggestion. So come back here in the compiler sections, we are getting this particular error. All you have to do is to simply scroll and here you will find the entire information about the error which you are facing in the contract. So it will say invalid type of argument in function calls, invalid implicate conversable from string memory to address. So this is the error I'm getting. And if you scroll further, here you will find an options called ax GTP. So you can simply scroll and you will get the entire overview of your smart contract right up here. So if I click on this Arc GDP, it's going to make a call to the API and it will analyze the smart contract, including the error which I am having. So just wait. Soon this process will complete and you will get the entire overview, the error which you are facing and how to fix that. And now here I got the response from the JTP and here you can able to take an overview that what is the problem we are having. So here it says that the error occurred because comment failed of the post structure is declared as an array of addresses. Means the structure we have defined for the post, it's an address type this particular variable and it's further say meaning that they accept an array of ethereum address wherein the create post function you are trying to initialize it with an array of string that's what you can able to find which is not compatible how to fix it's given the possible structure that how you can particularly fix that so here we have the struct it's defined the address and if i go further it says that all you have to do is to replace this string with an address type so all we have to do is now we know that what is the problem we are having so instead of declaring a structure a struct here this is the post i can say a string and i can save and now we have successfully compiled our contract and that looks pretty fine if i bring it down here it says and give the information further it's compatible you can see now we got this particular address and how we have fixed this particular bug so this one is really powerful and you have to use in your smart contract auditing and if you want to get any confusion around any of the functionality which you have included in the smart contract you can simply highlight the function and ask a question so this will give you an amazing idea that how you can audit your smart contract so i hope you guys will start using this particular one and use this to audit your smart contract so that's the only thing i want to cover in this video very soon a project will come so you guys can simply follow where we're going to provide all the features so in this project i'm going to add a unique features which I'm going to talk about later. So this one is going to be the really powerful application which you can add and you can simply build and launch. So you can start making money or you can simply start your own Web3 say the web3 chat social media platform so this one is going to be a quite unique not the regular one which we have built it's going to be a quite unique so very soon our project will come on that i'm already done with the so many code just connecting the smart contract and testing the smart contract with different data set so very soon i'm going to launch that
And if you want to master blockchain development, if you're a complete beginner, then check this particular course. In this, we have built multimedia NFT marketplace and we have included tons of features. So auction, bidding, account creation, community, transfer, admin panel. We have so many things. So this will teach you every single thing which you have to know. It will teach you about the solidity programming language and important tools and technology which you have to know as a Web3 developer, Web3 providers, hard at. Remix ID, every single thing you will find in this particular course, which will teach you every single thing from start to end. So make sure to check that one. With that, I'm into this video. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.